Today we are going to study financial statements. Financial statements means trading, profit and loss account and balance sheet. And in certain cases it includes cash flow statement also. But here in this lecture we are going to deal with trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. Now what is our accounting process? First of all we record all the transactions in the journal. Then we post them to ledger and then to check the accuracy of our ledger we prepare trial balance and trial balance also serves as a launching pad for the preparation of trading profit and loss account and balance sheet. Now I will tell you how to prepare trading PNL account and balance sheet and this process basically starts from preparation of closing entries <clears throat> now what are closing entries you know all the accounts which pertain to incomes and expenses are to be closed to either trading and profit trading account or to profit and loss account i'll give you an example of this trial balance you see trial balance has two sides this is debit side this is credit side you know all the accounts which appear on the debit side of the trial balance are either assets or expenses or losses it could not be anything else right similarly the all the accounts which appear on the credit side of trial balance are either liabilities or incomes or revenues <clears throat> right now if this is our trial balance okay now we have to close all those accounts to either trading account or profit and loss account now which accounts to transfer to trading account and which accounts to transfer to profit and loss account I will tell you the simple fundamental rule all those expenses which are incurred to bring the goods to bring the goods to your storage or your shop or your premises all the expenses that means say carriage inward all the taxes you paid on the goods you bought right like octroi clearing charges right cartage all those expenses which you have paid to bring the goods to your premises right these are called direct expenses and if there is any manufacturing activity going on then the wages you paid to the labor that is also to be debited to trading account okay and all those expenses which relate to uh, say factory for example factory rent or factory supervisors salary all these will be debited to trading account basically you know trading account is the account which will give us gross profit right and, some, and trading account will be credited with sales and closing stock or nothing else. Now, the difference between the credit side, that is the total of sales and closing stock. Difference of total of sales and closing stock minus all the items appearing on the debit side of the trading account will give you gross profit if the credit side is bigger or it will give you loss gross loss if debit side that means all the expenses are total of all the expenses is bigger than all the incomes or revenues on the credit side of trial balance so now you are very clear that all the expenses which can be considered as direct are debited to trading account okay and all those expenses which are considered to be indirect or in other words we can say which are of administrative nature or which are incurred to make sales that means all selling expenses all kind of selling expenses like carriage outward advertising right and administrative expenses like telephone rent and all those expenses which are considered as indirect expenses will be debited to p and l account and all those incomes all those incomes uh, which are not exactly sales 
will be credited to P&L account. For example, if you earn some commission, if you earn some discount or any other revenue you earn, except sales, will be credited to profit and loss account. Right? So with this example, I will try to show how first of all we make closing entries. Okay? You see, here this stock, this is opening stock. So what shall be our entry for this? You know all these are debit balances and they need to be put to the debit of trading account. So our entry will be trading account debited to stock. This is opening stock. That means this is the closing stock of last year. Okay. So first entry is trading account debit to opening stock. This one. Then purchases. You have here purchases. This. Again entry is trading account debited to purchases. Then you have sales return. This is here sales return 2700. Again the entry is trading account debited to sales return account. And then you have wages of 13,000. Again entry trading account debited to wages. Similarly carried inward 5,000. Okay. This is here. Carriage inward 5000. Carriage inward wages. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5 items are there. So, which one we have missed here? Mm. This is sales return. Okay. So, all these 5 items have been debited to trading account. Okay. Now, which items will be credited to trading account? Of course, this sales. What will be the entry for this? Sales account debited. Sales being a credit balance will be debited here. Sales account debited to trading account. Then you have sales return, oh, sorry, purchase return account. This one. Again, entry will be purchase return account debit to trading account. Is this clear? Now, the other entry we have to put is for closing stock. You know, closing stock is not given in this trial balance. At the end of the financial year, we have to do the stock taking. That means we have to count the number of goods or number of stock lying with us. Then we have to multiply that with purchasing price of that. Inclusive of all the expenses incurred on that. Right? This is called closing stock. Entry for closing stock is this one. Closing stock account debit to trading account. Because this entry is made after the preparation of trial balance. Hence trading account does not appear in the trial balance. If by chance if you look at some trial balance. And you find closing stock appearing on the debit side of trial balance. Then always think that this entry has not been passed this one has not been passed actually at that time entry has been passed is closing stock account debited to purchases account that means closing stock has been adjusted in purchases account that means purchases have been reduced but if it is not appearing in this trial balance then we have to pass this entry closing stock account debit to trading account that is with rupees 35,000 now if you prepare your this thing trading account, you will find that you have a profit of 251000 How we arrive at this figure? Just see. The credit side of trial balance is 560200 plus closing stock 35500 From the sum of this figure, if you deduct debit balance of trading account that is 3700 rupees, you get a difference of 2 lakh. 51,000 this being gross profit so entry for transferring this from trading account to profit and loss account is trading account debited to profit and loss account with 251,000 2,51,000 so this is the way trading account is prepared and these are all closing entries ok now I will tell, tell you how these entries for profit and loss account are prepared
now we will make closing entries for profit and loss account you see as i told you earlier that in profit and loss account all those expenses will be debited which are of indirect nature so if we look at this so what are the expenses like salaries now salaries means amount paid to office workers or people who are making sales so this is different from wages wages means uh, money paid to labor okay so this is the difference so this will be debited to profit and loss account and and entry for this will be profit and loss account debited to salaries okay these are the closing entries now what are other here other accounts here electric charges that means electricity charges we pay so entry for this will be profit and loss account debit to electric charges similarly we have telephone charges okay then we have bad debts bad debt mean all those amounts which we lose in business i mean which our debtors don't pay debtors are the people whom we sell goods on credit and when they don't pay we have to write them off so entry for writing them off is basically bad debt account debit to debtor so it's a loss basically so this account will also be close to profit and loss account and entry will be profit and loss account debit to bad debts account okay then depreciation you know what depreciation is okay so it in this account will also be close to profit and loss account then you have general expenses similarly it will be close to pnl account then postage and insurance premium account all these are expenses which are of indirect nature and we will be close to profit and loss account okay now here we have certain incomes like we have commission this is the commission we have earned right it's an income so it will be credited to profit and loss account and what should be the entry for this commission being a credit balance so it will be debited and profit and loss account will be credited similarly here we have bad debts recovered account now what are bad debts recovered for example mr a was not making us payment and we had written off his account in the past okay that means we had put the entry bad debt account debit to mr a now after some time or in this financial year mr a makes us payment now now we cannot make this entry that is cash account or bank account debited to you see mr a's account it cannot be possible now it's an income for this year hence the entry is cash account or bank account debited to bad debts recovered account this is an income so it, this account will be close to profit and loss account the entry will be bad debts recovered account debit to profit and loss account now when you prepare the profit and loss account you find that there is a profit of 174500 how we have arrived at this figure you know the gross profit was 251000 now from this figure that is the amount of from the amount of gross profit we have to reduce all the expenses so if we reduce from that figure all these expenses okay and if we add to this gross profit this income of 2800 and when we find the difference the balance left with us is 174500 which is net profit earned by the business during this financial year okay now this profit needs to be transferred to capital account because all the profit or the loss made by the firm or the business is on the behalf of the proprietor okay so it needs to be transferred to capital account hence the entry profit and loss account debit to capital account okay now i will prepare trading and profit and loss account and having passed the closing entries for trading account and pnl account now this is the final trading and pnl account you see the first item on the debit side of trading account actually from this to this it is trading account 
and from here onwards it is profit and loss account but it is made in the continuity so first item here is opening stock this 30000 okay then purchases because it was debited to trading account but here is a slight change you see from purchases we have returned we have uh, reduced purchase return actually purchase return account is a credit balance actually it was transferred to the credit side of trading account so there are two ways of showing it one is that you show it on the credit side of uh, trading account the other is that you reduce it from purchases account similarly this thing applies to sales return also you see sales return is a debit balance so it was transferred actually to the debit side of trading account one uh, option before you is that you can write uh, sales return on the debit side of trading account the other option and the more popular option is that you reduce the amount of sales return from sales account and show the final figure in the outer column okay and here appears the closing stock and other direct charges so this is the amount of gross profit made and now this is transferred to profit and loss accounts credit side why we transfer it to the credit side of trial well uh, this trade, uh, profit and loss account is for the simple reason just see since this side credit side that is our income basically re or revenues exceed all our expenses or the debit side of trial balance that's why there is a gross profit now from this gross profit we have to reduce our indirect expenses to find out the net profit since this was only a balancing figure here that's why we had written it there but basically it is a credit balance hence it must come here okay and to this amount we have added the other incomes we have earned during the year these ones okay and all the indirect expenses in this trial balance have been debited here and this is the amount of 1,74,500 is the net profit earned by the firm during this accounting period and rightfully it has been transferred to capital account now I will show you the balance sheet how to prepare it now I will explain you the preparation of balance sheet but before I before that I tell you that I have made certain changes in the figures of trial balance and that has been done so that uh, I could show you the uh, treatment of certain items okay so let us proceed let me tell you balance sheet is always on a particular date like balance sheet of Messrs ABC as on 31-3-2011 that means this is on a particular day the next day even a, a single transaction will change this balance sheet like profit and loss account is always for a period that this is for the year ending this date like our uh, trading profit and loss account was for the year ending 31-3-2011 but balance sheet is only on this date on 31-3-2011 okay now you see in the trial balance as I told you in the beginning that all the debit balances are either expenses or assets okay and on the credit side of trial balance there are only liabilities or revenues or incomes so till now what we have done we have shifted all our expenses to trading and debit side of trading and profit and loss account and our incomes and revenues we have shifted to the credit side of trading and profit and loss account this we have done now what are the items left if you look at it furniture debtors investments building plant and machinery cash in hand and cash at bank you will just understand that they are all assets now these assets will go on to balance sheet on the asset side they will all be shown on the asset side of balance sheet 
Now there are certain liabilities. Even capital is a liability from the angle of business according to separate accounting entity concept. So now what are the items which are which have not been shifted to trading and profit and loss account? They are capital, loan from bank, creditors. Okay. Now these items will go to the liability side of the balance sheet. Okay. Now the thing is how to group them and marshal them. You see the items which will be shown in the balance sheet they should be grouped under certain headings. All similar items should be put under one single heading and all the items in the balance sheet should follow a certain order. Okay. Now there are two ways of preparing balance sheet. I mean there are two ways of following the order. One is permanence and the other is liquidity. Now this balance sheet has been prepared on the basis of liquidity. That means all those assets which can be converted into cash at the earliest very easily they are put at the top like current assets is a group and the order followed is cash in hand. This comes first with the cash being the most liquid right then cash in bank then debtors closing stock okay now investments again it's a separate category investments you know are made in the say government securities or shares or the debentures okay and this is a separate category so this is again shown separate under the heading investments and this is more liquid as compared to furniture plant and machinery and building that's why it follows current assets last are fixed assets like furniture is more liquid can be sold easily plant and building it takes time you know and building is all the more difficult to sell because there are very few customers in the market to buy building or costly things so this comes in the last and on the liability side as you know current assets were at the top similarly if you are following the liquidity order then current liabilities should be at the top like creditors here and if there was for example bill of exchange or some other credit creditors or other liabilities which were in current in nature they would have come under this heading then long term loans we may take loans from institutions like banks etc for long term that is for more than one year they will come under this setting then in the last owner's capital owner's equity here we take first opening balance that is in the time balance here you know this is the balance which was there in the balance sheet of last year in the last year closing balance of capital account was 325000 so for 2011 this is the opening balance okay and from this the drawings made during the year have been deducted here are the drawings 15,000 you see drawings is basically a debit balance okay otherwise we would have shown it on the asset side but the procedure is to show it as a deduction from the opening balance okay and then the net profit earned by the firm during the year is added in the capital and this is what appears as the final figure of capital and the two sides are total of two sides is equal that means your balance sheet is correct now if you follow the permanence order for preparing balance sheet then this order will reverse fixed assets will come on the top investments will remain in the middle current assets will come in the end and you see cash in hand will be the last item and before that cash in bank I mean the reverse order will follow and similarly on the liability side capital will be at the top long term loans etc will be in the middle and current liabilities will be in the end if we follow the permanence order and now let me tell you about the opening entries for the next year now this year is closed now when you have to open the books for the new year that is starting from 1 4 2011 
then all the items appearing in the balance sheet they are the ones which will be opened in the ledger first and the opening entry will be you know all the assets all the assets account will be debited i mean the opening entry will be all the assets will be debited and all the liabilities that is including the capital will be credited that will be the opening entry in the next year that is the year starting on 14/2011 and from that general entry the ledger will be uh, the ledger will be posted and new year will start now this is the opening entry for the year 14/2011 if you look at it all the assets in the balance sheet of previous year that is the balance sheet as on 313/2011 okay the assets in this all have been debited right and all the accounts on the liability side of previous year's balance sheet like creditors loan from bank and capital they have been credited this means what actually we have brought forward the uh, accounts which pertain to assets and liabilities to the new books now we have opened new books this is the first general entry and from this posting will be made in the ledger and in the new year's books on the ledger of new year we will have all the assets accounts and all the liabilities account and now onwards new transactions will start that's it thank you